critical is the, is the word I would like to specifically mention and put an emphasis on in this particular slide. In the center, we see critical load sub-panel. Above it, critical AC loads. Critical AC loads can be UPS systems, uninterrupted power supplies, which provide, which should provide, continuous, non-stop, well-known electrical energy to sensitive devices that should work non-stop. So they are criticals. So this, uh, the reason they are criticals means that I have to separate them from the right hand side of the uh, entire system here, from the electric, electric uh, utility and from non-critical AC loads, things that if something happens to the grid, not very big problem. There are critical AC loads that should be isolated from the entire system and should continue operating no matter what. And the sub-panel will split the two. One side to the right is non-critical, the above is critical. This plot diagram basically showing us the same as we've been talking before. It's just that I would like to put an emphasis on something very, very interesting here, and it's regarding the engine generator on the top right side of the picture. In the center, there is a, um, a DC control center. This DC control center controls the DC load on the bottom left picture, controlled what will be inverted and goes to the AC load on the bottom right center, uh, bottom right uh, corner. But the engine generator bypass the battery charger, bypass the inverter and goes directly to, tr to transfer switch. So although we have hybrid systems, some energy coming from the generator, some energy coming from a, a renewable PV array, photovoltaic, renewable can be wind, like we said. The engine generator can bypass all of them, goes to a switch and goes out to an AC load. That's for critical applications. 